Michio Kaku, professor of theoretical physics at the City University of New York, joins us now. Uh, to, he's been following it as well from early this morning all up to this moment. The last solar eclipse, as we know, took place, what, 2017? So what makes today's cosmic event so unique and different? You know, I've witnessed many total eclipses of the past, but this one is different. We're talking about the fact that there's so much excitement that politicians are declaring a state of emergency. Take a look at hotel reservations and rent -a car reservations. They're up several thousand percent. And tourists, tourists are not just from across the street. Tourists are from Asia, from Europe, they're flooding into the United States to be part of this cosmic event. And so what is driving this? I think several things. First of all, people are writing up their bucket list. And what do they want to do before they kick the bucket? Well, the next total eclipse of the sun won't be till the year 2044. So some people are saying now or never. So, hey, let's get a rent a car, let's get a hotel and let's watch this eclipse. And second of all, I think we have to realize that there's a fascination with outer space coming again. For so many years, people were tired of space shuttle launches, nothing new was happening. Now, people get excited because ordinary citizens, private citizens are going into outer space. Elon Musk, for example, is selling tickets, tickets to go to the moon. Think about this. So there's been a resurgence of interest in the universe, a resurgence of interest in space travel. And I think that is one of the reasons why this eclipse is different from previous eclipses. Micha, that's fascinating. And if I could ask you, as a scientist, you're part of this great tradition of, of human minds that have worked to understand and things like the eclipse, but looking up at it today through my through my glasses, <laughs> it felt almost. I, I thought of the people before uh, the achievements of science understood this, and I thought of the awe they must have had, and the fear, and all those emotions. And I think the we questions. all, despite the fact that we understand it, were touched that way as well today. Were you? Yeah, that's right. And uh, if you take a look at the past, people thought that if you chanted, made noise, yelled, screamed, danced, you can scare away the <laughs> demons that were eating up the, the sun. And so we went from superstition to facts. But we also use eclipses to date certain historic events. When historians of the past talked about certain battles that took place, we can now actually date them because we know what happened with the eclipse during that time. And historically speaking, Albert Einstein used the eclipse of the sun right after World War II, right after World War I, I'm sorry, to prove his theory of relativity. And so the eclipse of the sun came not just as a matter of historical record, but it also helped to propel the Einstein view of the universe itself. Wow. Pretty awesome way to look at everything. Everything that happened today. Michio, thank you so much. So great to have you. My pleasure. Anytime.